So let's look at hierarchies of classes and inheritance. So if we look at classes, we can sometimes generalize and see that some classes have shared characteristics that we can use to combine them together and generalize a superclass. For example, a circle is a figure. A figure is something more general than a circle. A rectangle is also a figure. And all figures have colors. So we might make a more general class which is figure and contains all the shared characteristics of figures that can be subclasses of a figure. So generalization provides us with an ability to make a hierarchy of subclasses. Let's look at our figures. So we can say that we have a superclass figure that you see here in yellow and subclasses of figure are specific concrete figures that we can think of. Rectangles, circles, squares and ovals. So you can see that we have abstracted away from specific things of figures and the subclasses are more concrete figures. Think of abstraction of something that you cannot draw. Try to draw a figure and not go into a concrete shape that is rectangle, circle, square or oval. And this is abstraction. We can do this for any type of object. For example, vehicles. A vehicle is the superclass. It's abstract and contains all the shared characteristics of a vehicle. And then we can go on a subclass level and think of specific vehicles like automobiles, motorcycles or buses. But we can go further. We can create very big hierarchies. Like for example, an automobile can also have different shapes and forms. It can be a family car or it can be a sports car. Or a bus, for example, it can be a bus that is used to go to school or it's a luxury bus. So we can create hierarchies of classes that are getting more concrete while we go down the hierarchy. So let's look at um, what this means for classes. If you have a subclass, it inherits all the variables and methods from its superclass. So that means that a subclass has all the variables and methods from the superclass and it can add its own. Its own for the specific and concrete characteristics that it has. The word inheritance comes from uh, inheritance that people have. Like for example, we can inherit the eye color or the hair color from our parents. So going back to our figures, let's look how we can make this class figure and make circle a subclass. So here we see in yellow class figure. The attribute that class figure has is color because color is a common characteristic of all figures. So here we have a constructor that enables to construct a figure with a specific color and here we have a, a set color, a setter for setting the color and a getter for obtaining the color. So here in the green, we see the class circle. Now the class circle is a subclass of the superclass figure. So it doesn't need to define the attribute color because it inherits it from a superclass figure. So it only defines a characteristic that is specific to circles, namely having a radius. So it defines an attribute radius. Here we have the constructor that now sets the color and the radius, see that the class circle can just use the attribute color because it inherits it from its superclass figure. Here we have the setter for the radius and the getter for the radius. In this class we don't have to make setters and getters for color because we inherit them from the superclass. So here you can see that we say C1 is a new circle that is pink and radius 3. And we can just freely call get color and set color on C1 because we get these methods from figure. So as another example, rectangles. So we keep the same class figure with the color and we say rectangle is a subclass of figure. So now we need to define attributes that are specific to a rectangle. Well, rectangles don't have radius. Rectangles have a height and a width, such that we can define the rectangle. 
So we make a constructor with three parameters, C for the color, H for the height and W for the width and we set them here. Again, as I said before, color here we can just freely use because we inherit this from our superclass figure. And here we have set height, get height, set width and get height. So the setters and the getters for the variables that we have introduced. And again, set and get for color, we don't have to redefine because we inherit from the superclass figure. So in the next part, we'll look a little bit about design principles for object-oriented programming.